What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and welcome back to yet another Tekken 8 in 8 minutes, and I'm gonna do the Special Forces Commando Dragonov, a very fun and very interesting character. He was really bad in Tekken 7, like low tier garbage, he was also insultingly pretty difficult to play, so I'm happy to say he's received some really cool quality buffs, and his damage is outrageous in Tekken 8, we're gonna get into it. But so basically, the nature of playing Dragonov is like a momentum monster. He closes the gap with while running 2, and then he never really lets go. Just bombards the opponent with heavy hitting highs and mids, and basically builds crazy frames. Crazy frames. Hoping to score a counter hit, testing the opponent's patience, super strong throw game. He has re a really interesting moveset with very tricky attacks. It's like he has an answer for every situation, he even has an orbital, he's got really weird feints. In general, like, a very interesting and varied moveset, but basically momentum monster. He's also very tall, a large man. He's got huge reach on his limbs. Long limbs. Uh, very well worth keeping in mind. But so in Tekken 8, what happened? Uh, unbelievable damage. Mind-blowing damage. Check out this new combo route. Wall. Wall throw! Wall throw! And he ain't done! He ain't done! Did you see the damage? So yes, as the only character... There are other characters who have wall throws. But his does a million damage and then allows him a normal wall combo route afterwards. This has never been a thing before. And again, he's the only one that can do it in this game. Absurd. Uh, note that that wall throw, to give you a normal wall combo after it, you need to save your bound, right? You can't bound and then expect to get that. Uh, but luckily, he has some of the best wall travel in the game, using the Ford Free Cancel. So, he was built to be able to do that, right? Uh, and it doesn't matter what launch she gets. Check this shit. Absurd damage. Absolutely absurd damage. Mostly thanks to his downford 3-4 being a very strong tornado. So anytime you get launched by Dragonov, you're basically going to die. Uh, so his key attack is while running 2. This move is a win, whatever it does. If it hits, counter hits, or is blocked, uh, Dragonov wins. Uh, on block, plus 6. A normal hit knocks down wall splats. Super strong. On counter hit... Basically, a million damage, right? A million damage. Uh, so th this move is super strong. You have to be able to do it point blank like this for maximum pressure effect. And also, you note that blue spark, this is when you do it frame perfect. Forward, 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 two super quickly. Adds five damage on normal hit, six damage on a counter hit. But most importantly, it chips a ton. Normal while running two, some chip. Frame perfect ton of chip. So that's a very important distinction. And now you're gonna mix that with Blizzard Hammer, back 1 plus 2. Plus 6 on block mid. These two alone are so threatening in terms of pressure. A normal hit, Hammer knocks down into a guaranteed stomp. It's a very strong attack. Uh, and then uh, Sneak 4 is a new attack. This is a mid that's plus 7. So for example, I'm pressuring 2-1 into Sneak, and then 4. Plus seven. Heat engager. And when I'm in heat, if I dash out of it, it's a launcher. So already we, we've got some pretty brutal frames, right? Pretty, pretty brutal frames. And then for low, you have down two. Super fast, basically homing, low. Super fast, evasive, homing. Minus one on normal hit, minus 13 on block. On counter it, huge frames. Another new low is down back 3, 4, plus 7, plus 7, launch punishable however on blocks, so you gotta be a bit careful, but it is reasonably fast and on counter it you get a free stomp, but so yeah, I hope I'm, I'm painting a pretty clear picture here, right, in terms of frames. If he wants to, like, this boy can build momentum, uh, and then down for 1, 4. Uh, counter it string like before, but as I showed you, second hit is now a counter it launcher. This is new for Tekken 8 and super strong. Uh, up forward 4 is now stronger. Jumping mid, right? That's safe on block. 
always gave a mini combo, but he has a stronger one now due to this new string. Down for 3, 2, 1 plus 2 does way more damage and spikes onto the ground and we can't tech roll, so we can pressure. Huge buff, I think. And then down for 4 still has long reach, back 3, homing, right? Reaches super far, safe on block, plus 11 on hit, so strong. Um, down for 3, 4 is his homing mid, super long reach, plus 12. Safe on block at minus 7, and again a very strong tornado. And now gets a stomp on counter hit. Super good. Uh, 1 to 1 is a 10 frame counter hit heat engager wall splat. That is really good. Um, he has Corsair Cofford 1, which is his infinite reach natural hit launcher. Note for reach. This has always been a really strong attack and only minus 3 on block. Classic setup here is my, uh, minus three. Quarter circle, quarter circle forward one. D these are big words, man. Quarter circle forward one on block. And then when it's blocked, you sidestep into down for two. Because people love to jab after blocking this. So you step, jab, and then down for two launch. You'd be surprised how many people eat that. Um, and then he has a lot of usable strings. Really mental stack and knowledge check your opponent here. Back for 2 1 is plus 1 on block, and most people don't duck that. So they, you know, you get a jab there, they can't interrupt. Uh, 1 3 1 is very strong. Down back 2 1. Delay the last hit. Uh, Sidestep 2. Uh, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2. Goes into tackle. Really check your opponent with these strings, because most people don't know what to do with them. Uh, they're very strong. And then Dragonov has a complete throw game. Two break. Very good. One break. And the cool, neat thing about these is that they are, they are 11 frame startup. One frame faster than your typical throw. Really strong. Uh, upward 1 plus 2 is his super awesome 1 plus 2 throw sequence. Does a lot of damage, and if they stand up afterwards... Down for two will launch them. Super cool, right? Super cool throws. And then when he's in heat, he's so cool. He can add now a tackle to two while running two by pressing one plus two. And it's unbreakable. Unbreakable. And then you do your mix-up. Uh, and same for his heat smash. Unblock does a ton of chip. And goes into tackle mix-up. He has many ways of doing this. And then his feint from Ford for 2. You press Ford for 2, 1 plus 2, and he does a feint. This is really cool to mix with while running too, because they look the same. Look at this. How tricky this is. Looks the same, and then oh! But they can break that throw. But if you're in heat when you do it, blue sparks, you see? And now it's unbreakable. Unbreakable. So you mix that with this tackle, and you have some really cool heat pressure here with Dragonov. That's very unique to him. Uh, he also has this feint from his Snake Edge, which launches a normal hit. Now you can do the feint there, and it's unbreakable. So he sees this animation, he crouches, you feint with 1 plus 2, grab them. Really cool sequence. Um, but so that's basically Dragonov in Tekken 8. Hits like a goddamn truck, twice as hard as before. Insane frames, much stronger than in Tekken 7, super fun to play, awesome moveset, hope you enjoy him, have a great day.